Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco. Dish out on movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. It's just Marco here once again, and I am here today to review, oh, another Sacked Snyder movie. And uh, this one, <laughs> it's really funny because the first part of this, Rebel Moon Part 1, that movie even though it was really, really bad, ter terrible in almost every way, there were a couple of things about it where I felt like, you know what, if if this movie were made by an actual filmmaker and, and they had, like, an actual story to tell instead of just ripping off, like, Star Wars and Seven Samurai, then maybe that could have been a good movie. And the second one, however, uh, part two... Which, which was supposed to be, like, the closer. Like, I thought that, you know, that you just have parts one and two, but apparently he wants to make, like, six more movies in this fucking series. I don't know who the hell wants to see that, and I really genuinely hope that Netflix doesn't let him do that, because it's like, how many times are you going to give this guy money to make movies when he can't make shit? Like, who in the hell is is seeing the results of these movies where basically the only people who like these movies are a part of his little cult fanboy base and everybody else thinks they're garbage, basically? I mean, who in the hell greenlights these movies? Who looks at Zack Snyder's filmography and says, wow, that guy knows how to make movies. We need to give him two movies and one and uh and then director's cuts also because obviously you know if if you think his movies are bad well that's just because he he didn't get to do his director's cut so you know you have to wait for that too and then of course the director's cut turns out to be trash too uh, which is what happened with justice league that movie was garbage um joss whedon's version was a million times better that's for damn sure but anyways, this Rebel Moon Part 2, I would say, uh, number one, there are no good things about this movie at all. Like, that's how bad this movie is. It, and so, like, that, I don't even want to talk about it, basically, because the main reason why I even watched the first one, because I knew the first one was going to suck, at first I thought, maybe... Maybe it could be good, but then I was like, no, yeah, I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt again and again and again. Um, but the main reason that I even watched the first movie and the main reason that I even liked some of the first movie is because of Sophia Butella's character was really hot, and I just liked to stare at her face for the entire two hours of the movie. And she had this really sexy haircut where like it would it like is long in the front and then goes goes upwards and it's like it's it's really really hot and uh and she had this really sexy outfit with this like big cape and stuff and she just looked like a really cool science fiction character she's like the only element of the first movie that even felt like it could be a part of a good science fiction movie and uh in this movie she is like that for the first hour of the movie, because it's a two-hour movie, of course. Uh, and right in the middle point of the movie, Sophia becomes a boy. And that's where the movie really took a turn for the worse. Like, the movie got really, really bad. Uh, because it's like, why did she have to become a boy? Like, it's, it's so bizarre. It's like they're in the middle of battle... Everything is, is going to hell in a handbasket. And here you have the main her heroine character. And she goes off by herself. And she takes out a pair of scissors and starts cutting and cutting and cutting. And what do you know? She turned into a boy. Unbelievable. Like, why would you do that? She doesn't even have the cape anymore. She has the... uh this this masculine outfit with this fucking wife beater shirt and dark pants like she she looks like a boy 
she looks like that transgender character from the new Fallout series. Like, she looks terrible. And it's just, like, everything about that is is bad to me because it feels like... It, it honestly... Another thing that's funny is that it feels like two separate characters. Like, the character that she was in the first movie, it doesn't even feel like the same character in this one. And then, like, even the bad guy, you know, the, the, that dorky bad guy who, uh, who I can't even remember my nickname for him if, if, if I even have one, even. Uh, well, in this movie, he is, like, the most flat, dull, uninteresting character, and he was already trash in the first movie. In this movie, he has even less to do. And he he has even less of a of a character because most of this movie is just battle. It's just a mind numbing, brain numbing battle. It just feels like it goes on and on and on and on and on. And and I was like, okay, they're gonna have this little battle, and then like I don't know, they're gonna go to the big kingdom, and then they're gonna have to fight them and kill the main bad guys because. There obviously won't be more than two movies, right? Oh, I was wrong. The whole second half of the movie is just battle. Battling around the stupid farmland. Battling in the stupid spaceships in midair. It's just battling. It's not even good battling. There's like, uh... There's slow motion every five minutes, too. Like, it's really, really annoying. The slow motion in this movie... It's so pointless. There's literally no point in the movie where it feels like, wow, that slow motion really improved this scene or this sequence. It did nothing for the movie. It was so pretentious. You can just tell that the people who made this movie, they're so full of it. They're so up their own asses uh, about making this ugly-ass, shitty sci-fi movie. I mean, you already have all the color sucked out of the film, so it looks like a piece of shit. And then you have the main character, the main hot person in the movie, and she makes herself look like a boy. And But then the main guy, he's still the same, you know, and he still looks, I bet, uh, women find him attractive. And so it's like, it really shows that, like, Zack Snyder, I guess, he thinks that in order for a female character to reach her full potential as a, as a warrior, as a action heroine, she has to turn into a boy. And then that's not even the worst part. You know, the worst part is the spoiler alert. Um, at the end of the movie, she is almost killed by this main bad guy. And uh, her boyfriend has to come and save her. <laughs> like, isn't that hilarious? Like, wow, what a strong female character. She's got to be saved by a man. You know, last movie... She killed the main bad guy all by herself, and it felt like, to me, the second movie has got to be her and her little gang going after this empire in full, like, revenge mode, and just, you know, going from ship to ship, and then finally going to the main empire and, and killing the main ba bad guy, but no, he wants to do more movies, so couldn't do that, and, uh, yeah... But anyways, she is she is saved by her boyfriend, and it's really embarrassing because, like, the fact that, like, this is the same bad guy, and she's fighting him a second time, and, and she just gets so distracted by her stupid boyfriend getting injured that, like, he gets the upper hand, and then he has to save her. And it's like, yeah, so much for a strong woman, so much for a strong female character. In fact, there's another instance in the movie where a woman has to kind of be saved by a man. Uh, but it's actually a little boy. Uh, there's the, the Asian lightsaber woman. I don't even know her name. She was a trash character, too. Like, remember that whole thing about how, oh, we're going to find out about these characters in the second part of the movie, Oh yeah, you just have to wait, you know. You just you just want too many things at once, you know. You just have to let me spoon feed it to you like you're a little baby. Uh well, in this movie, there's this like little stupid scene where like uh the black guy is like, 
we got to learn everything we know we have to learn about each other before we can battle with each other. And so then uh, all the little uh, characters in this group of people, they they give like a, a one minute backstory of like the Asian woman's was like, I don't know. It was like, I was in a place once and, and then I'm not anymore. That was literally her backstory. And like, it's just these backstories sucked. They just suck the big one. Like, they were just so shitty and dumb, and, and they meant nothing to me. These characters are complete trash. Uh, they, they had nothing to them at all. Uh, so, like, yeah, you learn, like, a little tiny bit about these characters through these stupid little exposition uh, dumps where they're like, oh, this I was at this one place, and I did this bad thing, and then this thing happened. And it's like, yeah, fuck you. This fucking sucks. And so, uh, but anyways, the Asian woman, she manages to fight off almost all the bad guys, except the last one stabs her, and uh, she's worried that, like, uh uh-oh, she's going to die, and then he's going to get to kill all the women and children who are uh, held up in this this longhouse, what they call it. I guess I I was starting to call it Texas Longhorn, almost, because it's like, it might as well be. And then there's this little boy, and he just has a little tiny knife, and he runs up there, and he stabs the bad guy and has to save her. And it's, like, such a strange thing that, like, after the first movie where you had this really strong and independent female character, and for the most part it just felt like, yeah, like, it it, it just, it, I don't know, it felt real. It felt a lot more natural. And in this movie, it's like every female character has to be saved by a man it's really weird (laughs) it's really like i I don't know so yeah i haven't even gotten into my notes yet i just can't stop thinking about how sophia turned into a boy i guess this was her transition into the mummy into the real mummy you know not the crappy mummy she played in the mummy so in the first 15 minutes, you know, he, he Zack Snyder, he did a lot of copying in this movie. He did a lot of copy and pasting. And so in the first 15 minutes, they copy Caesar for Sophia's backstory where the princess's dad, uh, he, he gets assassinated the same way that Caesar did in his play. And he gets betrayed and they all take out their little daggers. And then Sophia is forced to kill the princess, and she's supposedly dead. And Sophia then runs away and kills all of his men as the main bad guy of the whole series literally just stands there like an idiot. And uh, and then there's even men yelling traitor in slow motion as if that's going to make it like more powerful, like the bad guys yelling in slow motion, like, wow, what a fucking uh, pretentious fuck. Like, just, just so shitty. I, I hate this movie. I, I mean, I wouldn't have even watched this movie. I just was so pissed off. Like, I really enjoy watching Sophia Butella in the first movie. She is like coffee ice cream. And you guys know how I feel about coffee ice cream. And in the second movie, it's like, no... We're not going to have coffee ice cream anymore, son. We're going to have real coffee. And then you just give me a cold brew, you know, like a cold coffee. uh, And it's like, ew, gross. I don't even like that at all. So that's what it felt like to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm scrolling through my notes. And all of the backstories, by the way, looked like video game cutscenes. In fact, a lot of this movie really reminded me of, like, what could be a video game. Uh, But even in a video game, there would be more of a story that would go on. You know, it wouldn't just be two hours of battling in a farmland, farm fields, and in the stupid little farm town, you know? Yeah. And Sophia becomes a man. And, 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 yeah, I I don't know what, what that was. Because, like, it doesn't even make sense, because, like, in the context of the story, that's the haircut that she used to have 
when she was in that uh in the Nazi army of the the empire whatever why would she want that haircut again <laughs> you know like that this new haircut that she has it separates her from that past and it makes her like a, a new and better person why would she want to look like she did in her past it's so stupid it's so dumb it makes no sense the only thing that I can think of is selling action figures. Like, you know, oh, you, you got, uh, what's her name, Cora? You got Cora from the first movie, but you didn't get the Cora from the second movie action figure. Now, with the boy look, so that you can look like a boy too. Or you can think of yourself as a boy. It's not even like a sexy tomboy haircut. It's just fuck ugly. It's, it's terrible. And then, like, there's a lot of, like, goofy moments in this movie, too, of, like, people fighting. Like, there's this one idiot guy, good guy who is standing in the open, and he shoots one bad guy, and he literally just stands out there in the open while he reloads, and he doesn't think that one of the many bad guys is going to take that opportunity to shoot him. I mean, that's so dumb. It's so idiotic. Unbelievable. And also, the Asian lightsaber woman, she has about 10 minutes to die and thank the boy who helped her kill the last bad guy. You know, it's a very Hollywoody type of scene. She literally just sits there for 10 whole minutes, like staring at him and saying, you're a good boy, thank you, blah, 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 blah. And then finally, she falls asleep and has the Hollywood death. And oh yeah, remember after we saw the first movie and we said, oh wow, we really love that robot character. We'd love to see, have him as like the main character probably because he's the most interesting. Uh, well, guess what, guys? He's in this movie for like one minute. <laughs> He comes in the movie like first and he's like, you guys will never win. And then he comes in again and he says like, uh, I am sad and I have no purpose. I'm really sad. And then he comes in again and he kills some bad guys. And then at the end, he agrees to fight with them again. So like, yeah, his character's trash, even more trash than the first one. You know, like that was a total lie about his character being a more of this movie. Like, most of this movie was just uh, the boy and her boyfriend uh, fighting the bad guys. And then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to scroll through my notes still because I just I want to get this over with. I hate this movie. And also, I would say, like, you didn't even need the first movie with the whole team-up aspect of, like, we have to go uh, get all these different people from all these different planets because they completely dropped the whole team thing. And it really just became Sophia and her boyfriend like going up to the spaceship that's floating there in the sky. And so they really could have just had these other people in this movie be a part of their city from the very beginning. You know? Like all the people in the gang... I guess they have their own purpose in the battle and they all fulfill their own little what whatever they do. But again, it really doesn't feel like a team movie. Like it doesn't feel like it's it's following through on the premise that it had in the first movie where it's like we're gathering up this team uh, to go fight the Empire. No, it just feels like a clusterfuck of shit. There's just shit everywhere. There's shit on there. There's shit on there. There's shit on uh, the screen. There's just shit. <sighs> the villain, too, like, it was such a letdown. After the first movie, you're thinking that, like, oh, maybe in the second movie he'll be more brutal. He'll be a lot more ruthless and, and, and scary. And he'll have more of a character. Oh, no. He's hardly in the movie, and uh, he's even more of a flat character than the first movie. Like, his character is really, really weak. Like, he, he hardly does anything. He kills, like, one guy himself 
And then he kills a couple other guys in this little trench sequence. But, like, his character sucked. Uh, he just sucked. He, he was probably the worst part of the movie, other than Sophia becoming a boy. So then, yeah, uh, the boyfriend defeats the bad guy. They both get off the ship, and then the boyfriend dies. He has, like, ten minutes to die so that he can watch uh, other ships get destroyed, and then he dies, and then Sophia's sad, and and then her her boyfriend, before he dies, too, he's like, I know what you are. And I was thinking, like, wow, he knows she's a boy? And it's like, no, he, he knows that she's the uh, the Ar- Arthur Leis, uh, the, the, the person that she was in the, in, in the Nazi empire. And so that was also kind of a plot point that, like, she didn't tell anyone in the town about her true backstory, and then she tells them at the end. And then it turns out that she had no reason to be ashamed of her backstory, because the princess is still alive, and here's where we have the pitch for the rest of the shitty series. Uh, we gotta go and uh, find her, and we gotta fight uh, all the other people in the Nazi Empire, because oh, because we need more movies in the shitty series that nobody liked, you know? And I was just like, ew, I don't want to see that. Like, it's gonna be like six movies with Sophia as a boy, the whole time, like, no thanks, like, this just, this movie was so one-dimensional, and it was so, like, just meaningless and pointless, like, I'll probably forget about this movie in, like, two seconds, like, I, I, I can barely remember the first one, except for, like, um, it was very repetitive, and, uh, and it was also just a setup to this movie, and so, like, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't think there's anything left to say except for my food review. I would just say that, like, don't watch this movie. Don't. It's a huge pile of shit. In fact, I would say, too, remember in the first movie review where I said that Zack Snyder was good at cinematography? I don't even think he's good at that anymore, honestly, after seeing this fucking movie. Like, there is not a single good-looking shot in this entire movie, uh, partially because they sucked all the color out of the movie, but also just because these are terrible, terrible shots. It's such an ugly movie, and it's so dull-looking, and, uh, yeah, I hate movies like that. In fact, I'll just go on record now... I'm not really sure. I'm okay. I will say this: this movie is the worst movie I have seen of the year so far. It is worse than Argyle. It's worse than Ghostbusters. It's worse than uh, Wicked Little Letters. It's it's even worse than Drive Away Ducks. It is the worst movie of the year. That is how bad. Zack Snyder really is like the first movie I don't I don't even think the first movie was in my top 10 worst I think it like evaded it by like one or two movies but this movie wow was it like a huge letdown like all it is is like about this battle on the farm like of of the characters preparing for battle and then battling And it really just shows, too, that, like, this should have been a part of the first movie, and that first movie should have been, like, this should have just been one movie, it should have just been a long movie, like, I guess three and a half hours or four hours, and, like, yeah, just cut it together. Because this is not a movie, Rebel Moon Part 2. It's just a piece of shit. So, in terms of food... I would have to give this movie Panera Bread's Broccoli Cheddar Soup. Uh, If you guys don't know, we really, really used to like their Broccoli Cheddar Soup, and it has gotten uh, pretty bad recently. It's very watery and flavorless. There's, There's no broccoli pieces in it anymore, and there's no flavor. 
It's just completely terrible. So anyways, please like this video and comment, and then please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more honest movie reviews. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.